guys, welcome to the fourth part of this drawing series. In the last video, we sketched out our line work, constructed the face using only straight lines. In this lesson, we'll be working on the drawing we created in the last session, and we will be adding shading to it. To start us off, we're going to be using our simplified reference we created in the second class to identify where to put in our shadows. At this stage, it should be more or less just like colouring in a colouring book. So what I mean by this is just shade in the darkest areas of the face using very light strokes. Just to let you guys know, I'm using a 2B pencil for this whole class. Also, don't worry about shading in perfectly, and don't try and get as dark as possible at this stage, because this will be our first layer, which we will build upon in the next lesson. As well as darkening all the areas of shadow, I also like to add some clarity to the features, as well as creating variations of tone within the light and dark areas. With this stage, it's important not to outline everything, because otherwise your outcome will look very cartoony, which is fine if that's the style that you're going for, but because in these lessons I'm demonstrating how I draw my portraits, I personally try to use outlines only where absolutely necessary. Also, when you're shading in your sketch, try to shade using lines that are going in the same direction, especially when you're shading in large areas, such as the forehead or the cheekbone area. As you can see, I'm mostly working with vertical lines and I'm not cross-hatching, as this can sometimes lead to uneven shading, which can be especially apparent when shading in large areas. Another tip is when you have large areas of dark value, I also like to use a blending stump which can really help speed up this process and prevent from uneven shading. For example, for the hair in my reference, because it's such a large area of dark tone, I used a series of vertical lines to shade it in initially, and then I blended the whole area using a blending stump. As I said before, because we're going to build on top of this layer, it's fine if this layer doesn't look perfect, especially in dark areas, because we will be adding a lot more layers over these sections. I personally think that blending is completely fine, but I would recommend trying not to blend in the light areas because you don't want these areas to look overly smooth and we want to also keep these areas as light as possible. With this stage of your portrait drawing, it's very important that you persevere and that you are patient. Because this process does take a very long time, it's very easy to get discouraged. However, don't give up and make sure that you're constantly referring back to your reference to direct you on where to darken your drawing and where to leave areas light. Now I'll let you watch the rest of the video to see exactly how I approach this process.
this stage, your drawings should look almost finished, just a little bit flat because we've been mostly working with a 2B pencil, which does not give us the full range of values that we could achieve. In the next lesson, we will be darkening all the shadows and reiterating where the lightest areas of the face are to add dimension and depth to our sketches. As a result, it will create a more realistic portrait drawing. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or send me a message to my Instagram at kimberleys.illustrations and I'd be more than happy to help. Thank you.